Hello everyone, it's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. A few days ago, Rivian announced via Twitter that they are adopting Nax. Um, this was a tweet dated June 20th, 2023, 6.03 a.m. It says, today we signed an agreement with Tesla to adopt the North American charging standard. This opens charging for Rivian vehicles on Tesla's supercharger network across the United States and Canada. Access starts as soon as spring 2024. Okay, so um, obviously Rivian has talked to Tesla and come to some kind of agreement with them. Uh, to get access to the supercharger network. This is the same for Ford and for GM. Now, Aptera has not really had a talk with uh, Tesla. Aptera just put the Max port on their vehicle. And so there are um, Tesla superchargers that are open to everyone. And obviously, Aptera will get access to that. It's still up in the air whether uh, Aptera will get access to more than just those uh, supercharger stations. It appears that Rivian, GM, and uh, Ford have worked out some kind of access, I think, which is beyond the uh, supercharger access that's open to everyone uh, with the um, magic dock and things like that. So anyways, Rivian is on board. So those of you guys who guessed that Rivian would be the next auto manufacturer to adopt the NAC standard, you are correct. So um, I think that uh, given uh, Rivian is a relatively new company and they don't have that much legacy, uh, it makes sense that they were kind of early to adopt. Um, you know, Lucid is in the same position, but I think there may be a little bit of a, a little bit of a rivalry between uh, Lucid and Tesla, as a lot of uh, Lucid people were Tesla people that left Tesla thinking that they could build a better car. And uh, in my opinion, I think Lucid is a better car than Tesla, but um, I think Tesla is a better. They have a better business model and a better manufacturing system than Lucid. Lucid has an amazingly designed vehicle but they're just having a hard time um, building the thing and making money and uh, staying afloat on the business side but anyway I digress um, uh, it would be pretty easy for Lucid to switch over I think uh, but there may be some uh, ego and, and psychological barriers to, for them to adopt although eventually I think they will have to because that's where the market is going we know of several manufacturers that are also considering it and they include Mercedes-Benz so Mercedes-Benz is evaluating a technical implementation of the Tesla charging standard. And then uh, Hyundai is also considering jo uh, joining the NAX standard alliance. And that, of course, means Kia will also be joining if Hyundai joins because Hyundai and Kia are the same company. And then Stellantis is also evaluating the Tesla charging standard. Stellantis owns Dodge and Chrysler, among other uh, vehicles. And then in the most, the latest, uh, the Texas, Depar Texas Department of Transportation has stated that if you are building a charging station backed by money from Texas through federal funds, you will have to include both the NACS uh, port as well as CCS. So uh, Tesla scored a series of victories in his charging technology on Tuesday. Uh, th they are talking about Rivian, obviously. Capped by Texas saying that it would require electrical being charged electrical vehicle charging companies to include both Tesla standard as well as the nationally recognized CCS if they want to be part of the state program to electrify highways using federal dollars. Um, so a lot of uh, things are falling into place, which is making NACs look more and more inevitable. There is a uh, web page that is maintained by EV Station. I will put a link to this in the description below. And basically they are updating a table and keeping track of all the companies that are adopting the NAC standard. I have this table set to be in uh, by chronological order. And you can see here in early November, Tesla kind of made the NAC standard open to everyone. And then Aptera quickly joined in on November 30th, 2022. And you can see their availability. They say that Aptera is gonna be available questionably in 2024 and I think that's a good estimate I think 2024 is probably a um, a reasonable estimate of when Aptera will be available then you see a lot of charging manufacturers in fact almost all charging manufacturers have said that they will adopt the next port or the next plugs into their uh, charging uh, hardware either as an option or standard. So there's EV Passport, X-Charge, and then you see Ford, which is the first major automaker to join in. Then there was FreeWire, which we heard about um, uh, around the same time as the Ford announcement. Then GM quickly followed within a week or two. 
after Ford, and then you see you know ABB flow charging wall box, and then you see the the big um, charging networks Blink, EVgo, ChargePoint, saying that they will join in. Charon is the standards association that was behind CCS, and they are also now um, will convene an open task force to align requirements with the goal of submitting NACs to the standardization process. So uh, the standards organization is um, looking at codifying the NACs to a standard um, as well. And then you see the most recent announcements of Rivian and the Texas Department of Transportation. So I will put this link in the description below. It looks like um, NACs is becoming more and more inevitable in the United States and Canada at least. Um, and we know at least Atlantis, Hyundai, and Mercedes are uh, considering joining. So I expect one of them to be the next um, car manufacturer to announce that they are adopting the export. If I were to guess, I would think that it's Hyundai Kia, but uh, maybe I'll be wrong. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Maybe it will be a manufacturer that's not even on this. Maybe it'll end up being like Nissan or, or VW or something. Who knows? But I, I think it's going to be Hyundai. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Have a great day.